Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be talking about why many of the Republic's leaders and generals joined the Empire after the fall of the Republic. So the transition between the Republic and the Empire was quite seamless and quite fast and Emperor Palpatine's plan to destroy the Republic worked perfectly. So after Order 66, once all the Jedi were killed, Emperor Palpatine set out to find generals, strategists, and others to help run the Empire because he couldn't run the whole galaxy by himself. Many of these leaders came from the Republic because Palpatine was the Supreme Chancellor and he had many friends in the Republic that supported him and loved his cause. One of the leaders that joined the Empire after serving the Republic was Tarkin. Tarkin worked under Even Peel, who was a skilled Jedi during the Clone Wars. Tarkin came from a military and political background, so he knew many military strategies. He worked for the Strategic Advisory Cell in the Republic, which was a group of Republic officials that oversaw the strategies of the Galactic Republic. He was a close friend of Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, and near the end of the Clone Wars, he was promoted to Admiral because of his skills as a strategist. But why did Tarkin join the Empire? Tarkin fought for peace and justice, he wanted to end war and stop violence. But why did he join the Empire? The Empire was the opposite of what he fought for. To answer this question, we must dig deeper into his ideologies and beliefs. Tarkin thought that having Jedi on the front lines was a bad way to win a war. The Jedi said they were supposed to be peacekeepers, but they were fighting a war and doing the opposite of keeping peace. He didn't see the Jedi as leaders of the Grand Army of the Republic. He felt like the Jedi were interfering with things they shouldn't be meddling in. This led him to dislike the Jedi. All Tarkin wanted was order. That's why he became a military general. He wanted to stop chaos and create order. So when the Republic fell and the Empire rose in its place, he welcomed it. The Empire provided peace. The Clone Wars was over because of the Empire. No more chaos, just order. The Jedi were extinct, and on top of that, his good friend Palpatine was the Emperor of the newly formed Empire, so it granted him a high military status. The galaxy finally had order, and that's all that Tarkin wanted. Another Republic leader that joined the Empire was Wolf Yularen. Prior to the start of the Clone Wars, Yularen served as an officer in the new Republic Navy. At the start of the Clone Wars, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine gave Wolf an Admiral's commission in the Republic Navy. Following the outbreak of the Clone Wars, he was assigned to Jedi General Anakin Skywalker. Wolf had a rocky start with Anakin and had many disagreements with the Jedi. Despite his disagreements with General Skywalker, he still worked with him. Wolf respected the Jedi only because they were above him in the chain of command. Other than the fact that the Jedi were above him in rank, he didn't have any respect toward them. That's why he joined the Empire when the Republic collapsed. He saw that the Empire created order and stopped chaos, and that's what his main goal was. The near extinction of the Jedi was just a price they had to pay to get order. So those were two generals from the Republic that joined the Empire. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into why many leaders from the Republic joined the Empire. Many leaders from the Republic saw the Empire as a way to create order and to create peace. And after three long years of war, they jumped on any opportunity that they thought might stop the Clone Wars. Many of these leaders weren't bad people, they just mistook the Empire for what it wasn't. Sure, the Empire created order, but it didn't stop the endless killings of innocent civilians and it gave the galaxy a tyrannical leader. But for Tarkin and Wolf Yularen, and many other generals, they thought that these were just the prices that they had to pay to create order in the galaxy. Which, in my opinion, is quite a flawed way of thinking. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into why many of the Republic leaders joined the Empire. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.